Yo, 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 it's your boy J1, King 1804. I know the streets and the streets know me. What up, YouTube world? I know it's been a while since I post, you know, just in the MIA grinding, trying to keep this bag together. But I had to get up on YouTube, man, to talk about Big Juke getting eliminated earlier in Memphis. Big Juke is your Gotti oldest brother, the enforcer, the bag getter. You know, his name ring bells, where his name used to ring bells in Memphis. That was Gotti Hawk. That's who Gotti looked up to. If you're a Yo Gotti fan, you could check out any one of his albums. And through all his songs, he's always talking about his brother, Big Jug. Big Jug get a lot of respect, especially in Memphis. But earlier today, Big Jug got killed, man. He got shot 10 times. Got hit up by a switch. Now, I'm old school, man. You know, I, I I know a 38 special snug nose. You know, maybe a Glock 40. But now these youngsters out here running around with these switches, man. All they got to do is pull the trigger. And rah, it's over with. It's really hard to live once you get hit with a switch. So, you know, it's still early in the investigation but from what I've been hearing from my sources is that Big Juke attended a funeral earlier today with his family and after the funeral they went to the repast and once that was over he headed to one of his spots and that's where he got hit up at. And believe it or not, I know it sounds crazy for somebody to get hit up after a funeral, but that's typical nowadays because that's where you get caught slipping. Real talk, uh, 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 a few weeks ago, I attended a funeral. My godmother funeral. I was one of the pallbearers. I helped put it together. And when I went to the funeral, I posted before I was going to the funeral because I was mourning. You know, I didn't care. And even at the funeral, I ain't had no pistol on me, dog. Real talk. I'm somebody who go everywhere strapped. But just out of respect for my godmother and my family, I said I would not step in the church with a pistol on me. So, when they heard Big Jill was attending the funeral, 9 out of 10, they know. If it's somebody he love and respect, he might not have a pistol on him. He might be mourning. He might let his guards down. And that's why you see a lot of people get hit up at funerals. Real talk. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm not super surprised that Big Jug got hit up. I'm going to keep it real. Because ever since Young Dolph got eliminated, PRE been stepping, boy. They've been stepping low keys. The man who got locked up, Hernandez, they say was the mastermind of the hit. If you don't know, his daughter was a rapper who was staying in Houston. She got gunned down. And then you had another dude on the other end who got gunned down. And now, Yo Gotti, closest ally, got gunned down. And don't forget, Black Youngster lost two brothers behind this. PRE stepping, boy. They stepping. I don't want to say it's karma, because I understand the streets. 
every action is a reaction. Eye for an eye. So I understand what's going on. But you have to look at it too. PRE winning. They on top. And they not doing all that clout chasing. They not posting nothing. They not talking crazy. They not uploading and trying to get fake. Nah, they move in silence because real G's move in silence, homie. I feel sorry for everybody in Memphis, man. Because, yeah, even when Hernandez's daughter got killed, yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Even when the other kid got killed, it is what it is. Even when um, um black youngster brothers got killed, it was still it is what it is. You know, black youngster did a lot of comic shit, getting online. Oh, it's up, it's up, da 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 da, man. You see, since Big Juke got killed, Gotti ain't say nothing. Gotti quiet. Gotti got a bag. He really got money. It's like Dolph and his team got money. So, the beef just got on steroids right now. Yo, Gotti is going to put everything in Memphis. He's going to use all his resources, all his finances, all his connections for payback. Because don't, don't forget, when Big Juke got eliminated earlier, his mother was there. She was running and, do and dodging bullets. That's personal. So now, on the other side, PRE side, Dawg side, I get it. Y'all up, y'all up a few. But now, y'all hit a KI. And remember, only a KI could kill a KI. Only a boss could touch a boss. Only a made man could green light a made man. With that being said, for Big Juke to get touched and kicked like that, it had to be somebody who was made on the other team. And let's talk about it. Who's made on that other team? Huh? Um, Dolph, little cousin, what's his name? Jizzle, Fizzle? He ain't about nothing. There's only two people on that side who bosses. Key Lock and Dolph Business Partner, the co founder of PRE, Daddy O. Real talk. Gotti know that. So now, by Gotti losing his big brother, that just opened the doors for Daddy O and Keydlock for their family to start getting touched. They mothers, they children, they baby mamas, they brothers and sisters. Real talk. Man, listen, man. My condolences go out to your Gotti and his family. I know it's, they stressing right now. Especially if his mama didn't get shot at like that and watch her oldest son get murdered. It's crazy. But like I said earlier, for every action is a reaction. And this is street politics, man. It is what it is. You know, you know what you signed up for. You know what the consequences are. But only a KI could touch a KI. And Gotti a KI. He gonna put that bag out there. Real talk. Man. So like I said, it's still early. We still got more information coming out. I just wanted to upload this little news clip to keep y'all informed. You already know. This your boy J1, King1804. I know the streets and the streets know me. Yeah.